I have this great 3D target that I'm going to try to repair today. Um, I bought the replacement vital to go into the target, but uh, I'm a new archer, and so I pretty much shot this target to heck and left it out in the weather and the elements all summer long, and it got pretty bad and tortured. So what my goal is today is to replace this old vital here, um, which is pretty torn up, uh, with a new vital, and then, um, which is there, and then once I replace this old vital with the new vital, I'm going to try to repair the body of the 3D deer um, and then set it back out for more shots. Um, the tools I'm going to be using today in equipment or materials or plastic wrap, um, some cellophane tape, some spatulas, some magazines I'm going to use for framing, and then of course the all important mighty Loctite foam. Um, so far, what I've expended for this repair is far less than a new target. So wish me luck and uh, I'll post pictures and show you the after, uh, before and after photos. Hopefully it goes well. My first time doing the repair. Thanks to fellow YouTubers who have shown foam repairs first. I thought I'd use um, some Loctite foam rather than, you know, purchasing 3D foam that's just as much as a low-end 3D target, which I happen to have here. So I've made a, I don't know how to say it, not the best world-class repair of my target. I used Loctite insulating foam. I reinserted the insert. I cellophane wrapped um, the target. My target was completely ripped in half um, from the top. I was doing a lot of backstrap shots from like 40 yards away, which are horrible by the way. And then I left the deer out here in the elements. It's the Delta Intruder Buck. And so instead of going and buy a new one right off, I decided to try to repair it. I used hanger wire to um, stitch the body back together. And then I put the uh, already torn up insert back inside the uh, target. And then I cellophane wrapped it and put a little duct tape around it. Uh, I wish I would have cellophane wrapped it a little bit more um, because the Loctite foam expanded really great um, so now I'm going to unwrap the target and see if it's all held together or not um, the Loctite foam expanded beyond the cellophane wrap um, which I'm fine with because I'm not necessarily looking for realism in shooting this target as opposed to having a target to shoot um, that can stop the um, arrows and broadheads that I shoot at it uh, so let me unwrap it and uh, I'll follow back up I've unwrapped the uh, target buck and uh, discarded the um, pieces of foam, cellophane, um, wire hanger, and duct tape that held it together while I glued it together. And I just want to go over the repair. Now, the repair is not an excellent repair, so to speak, but it's going to uh, salvage me probably countless, I wouldn't say countless, hundreds of more shots on this target book that was completely obliterated and ripped in half, um, mostly with fill points and some broadheads. But now I'm probably going to just shoot broadheads at it. Um, but let's look at the repair. Um, so here, um, as you can see, there's a line here where I use the wire hanger to hold it together. And I had to do it because the buck had split completely in half from the top. Um, I did buy a replacement vital, but it was the wrong replacement vital size. So I just put the old replacement vital back in and then I used the wire from the hanger to lace it back together, so to speak. 
and then uh, cellophane it and filled it with foam. And now the buck is completely back together, a solid mass of target shooting, um, <laughs> target shooting foam. Uh, I may paint it brown, but I might not paint it brown because the arrows are going to show up just fine on the target. Uh, they'll show up just fine against the white surface. Um, from time to time, I couldn't see my arrows from 30 or 40 yards when I was shooting them uh, against the black, brown um, the brown surface of the target. But now... Um, the white will show up nice and I know exactly where the vital is and even if I don't hit the vital um, I'll still be able to shoot it because this buck target buck is not going to be salvaged or used again after this repair but again I use Loctite foam cellophane wire hangers and duct tape to piece it back together then I punched holes in the cellophane and inserted and you can see some of the insert spots here 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 where I inserted the Loctite foam hose and pressed spray and filled it up. I actually used two cans of Loctite foam uh, to fill this one up and get a little dent. Uh, I was going to trim away the other foam, but um, this stuff sticks really good. Actually, I got some of the Loctite foam on my hands, just a note. Um, be sure to use rubber gloves. I had on one rubber glove and not two, and the Loctite got on my hands and stayed on there for about three or four days, unfortunately, even though I used acetone to get it off. But uh, the next test is to um, shoot it and see how the arrows uh, remove and pull out. Get up down range, about 30 yards away. I'll zoom in on it. Um, I have my block target there, and I have my Delta shooter buck there. I'm going to take about 10 or 12 shots at it and see uh, see how it holds up to the test. All the arrows, and uh, it looks like the penetration is a little deeper with the 100 uh, grain, 400 grain Cabela's arrows and the Victory Vap arrows with the 100 grain fill point. Um, did pretty good. Now I just got to retrieve the arrows out of the target and see how the phone holds up once I take them out. But let me tell you, the penetration and the way the phone's looking right now looks like it's going to hold up great. Moved all 11 arrows and here is the vital area and it looks like it held up pretty good. The arrows were just as firm and as difficult to remove um, as they were when uh, I originally got the target. And the arrows held in there firmly and removed um, pretty cleanly and evenly. And the vital looks like it's holding up. Um, so far, so good. And that is my Loctite foam repair of my 3D archery target from, what, Delta? The Delta Intruder Buck. Uh, I highly recommend this product. Loctite for repair but overall the purchase of the delta buck i'd recommend it also because when the vital gets worn out or the body gets worn out you can easily repair it all right folks thanks be sure to like and subscribe been two weeks since my Loctite foam repair and the buck and the repair is still holding up and although, foam, although the foam is not self-healing um, it's actually seems like it refills and I don't even have pass-throughs um, with these arrows again um, VAP victory arrows um, 350 series with a hundred point uh, fill with a hundred grain fill point um, so the Loctite repair is holding up two weeks in and uh, over 200 shots on this uh, on this uh, target buck from uh, 40 yards, 30 and 40 yards. Thanks for watching. Peace.